Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because this is gonna be a collab with Look Fantastic and this is the Pamper Yourself campaign that they have. This is a sponsored video. They sent me an email and asked me if I wanted to be part of the Pamper Yourself campaign and then they told me to go into the website and choose the products that I wanted sent. So these are the perfect sponsored videos because I already did a series last year that it was called Do The Most. So I agree with taking care of yourself even if we're in lockdown. Everything has been different since 2020. So when I did the Do The Most series since I'm an image consultant, I was telling my clients and people that follow me on Instagram that they should just take care of themselves through their outfits and through their makeup so that they don't get depressed or they don't feel sad or they just don't feel so disconnected that they forget about number one, which is ourselves. So this is an invitation for you to just remember to pamper yourself. So you guys, before we go into the video, every single product that you see right here, you will be able to get a 22% off coupon for it just by using the code Jordana. I will leave everything linked below. It's my name in all capitals. That way you can get the percentage off. And look fantastic, just rebranded and they have shipping to the US. You can basically check out all of the rest of the products that they have. So I'm gonna show you five ways in which I pamper myself even when in lockdown and that make my life a little bit more normal and a little bit better and they make me feel better about myself. So the first thing is taking care of my skin and I got a few products here that I'm gonna be showing you on my routine and you can see how I pamper my skin and take care of it. Now that we are always wearing masks, sometimes you get breakouts on your chin and sometimes what I wanna do is on the weekends or when I'm having a day off, I wanna just put a lot of skincare even if it's at night or during the day, just to make myself feel better. So let's just go ahead and see how I use these products. Okay, you guys, so I'm starting with the new Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrating. This is actually for dry skin, but I prefer masks that are for dry skin instead of oily skin because I don't want my skin to get dried out. I want to hydrate it as much as possible, even being oily on my T-zone. And this is a matte mask and it's gonna hydrate your skin and it's also gonna smooth it. This is a single use mask. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it dry and then I will remove it with a cotton round, but this looks awesome, I have to say. And I always apply it on my lips just to, uh, if I can, moisturize my lips or just detox my entire face. And it smells amazing. It smells like a tropical vacation. So five minutes passed and this is almost dry. I can feel it tightening on my face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the Berry M Lip Scrub. This lip scrub comes with olive oil, vitamin E, and it has antioxidant properties, jojoba and avocado oil, and it's also suitable for vegan. The scent of this is amazing, and the granules feel so thick. They don't feel thin at all, so I bet that they will exfoliate. Now I'm going in with the Pixi Glow Tonic and uh, Cotton Round, and this is a glycolic acid toner, and this toner will remove excess oil, will make your pores smaller. It's just a toner that is so hyped up that I couldn't wait to pick it up when I got the chance. And I just applied it in a cotton round, it's stamped, and I'm gonna just swipe it across my face. My face was left super clean by the mask. And even though I felt the mask to be tingly, it didn't really irritate my face. And now to finish everything off, I'm gonna go in with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. And that's a simple pampering routine for skincare. Now let's just go ahead to the rest of the video. Then the second routine that I'm gonna show you is when I have to work from home, since it's always right now, I have to be on my computer, but I don't have Zoom meetings. I do everything for my business and I wanna look put together. It makes me feel better about myself. So I wanted to show you a quick routine using cream products, an easy routine that you can even do with your fingers, doing a sort of a full face, but it's only about four products that you're using and you will look put together and will pamper yourself in the process. So let's just go and see how I do my everyday work from home, not that much makeup type of routine. 
So the first product that I'm gonna use is the Cuddly Beauty Elixir and this one I've had in the past. I had a big bottle, I finished it completely. It's so refreshing, it tightens your pores. It works as a makeup prepping product but it also works to refresh your face throughout the day. Even though it's hydrating, it doesn't make you feel oilier. It just makes you feel fresh and minty and it's sort of like an AC for your face. So even when I'm working from home and I don't have any meetings, I like applying either foundation or a tinted moisturizer. I have here the EX1 NBC Wear Liquid Foundation. This is light for me because one thing that I've been doing is using fake tan. But since I'm gonna do a super light coverage, I'm gonna just blend it to my skin to make my skin feel like it's just one tone, not to just cover everything. Because I just wanna make myself feel better and not look tired when I look in the mirror. So this is all I'm gonna be using and I'm gonna just apply with my finger because I want light coverage, but if I use a sponge, I will have no coverage whatsoever. So you will see how this foundation just will make my skin tone look like one skin tone without making myself look heavy and I will show you another product that I will use to warm up my face so that I don't look white on my face and then bronze on my body. The EX1 foundation is supposed to be a luminous foundation but since I've been trying it these past couple days I feel like it's more on the natural side instead of being luminous so it will work for you if you have oily skin and it's truly lightweight. You feel like you have nothing on your skin and it feels like it's set already after you apply it, even without putting powder on top of it. This is also a non-comedogenic foundation, so if you have issues with your skin breaking out, and right now with masks we're always breaking out, then maybe you want to try this one because it's really a good one. Now to make my skin look more even with my body, I'm gonna go in with the new sticks, nudies, and this is in the shade Bondi Bay. I've been just wanting to try this shade since forever. So I'm gonna apply it directly to my face and this is a color that will match my fake tan. The Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Color, this is a matte product and it has a brush in one side and then the cream on the other side. I wouldn't use the brush but I truly love the cream. You guys know that cream products are not the easiest for me to use but this one since it's matte, it blends easy and it gives you coverage, but it's not so heavy that you can feel like your face is gonna melt. And it blends into your skin easy with your finger or with a brush. Since I'm not gonna do anything else to my eyes, I'm gonna apply it on my eyelids directly. And just blend it with my finger to have a little bit of depth. For my blush, I'm going in with the Ciate Dewy Blush Glossy cheek tint and this one is in the shade coconut this i wanted because i saw amanda cocueva using it and it feels like the texture is gonna be a jelly type of formula so you can see it right here and i think it's gonna just work wonders with my stippling brush so i'm gonna just use the same brush that i used for my bondi bay bronzer and i'm gonna just grab this one and apply it directly to my cheeks this is my first time using the blush, and even though on the website it says it's a mauve color, I find it to be more on the nude side and not so much, it doesn't have a purple or a hint of mauve to it, it looks more like a nude blush. I love that, that's the reason why I chose the color coconut, and it looks sheer so I can see my skin peeking through, but it didn't move the foundation that I put underneath, and you can build it up if you want to. I find that for a natural look, it looks perfect as it is. It has a luminous look to it. When I'm looking at myself in the mirror that I have in the back, I can definitely see a glow when I move my face with the lights, but it doesn't feel sticky and it's sort of a gel type of consistency and that works for oily skin as well. To finish this quick and easy look, I used two products from Look Fantastic as well that I didn't get 10 on this order but they're worth mentioning. The Kevin O'Quan The Volume Mascara which is a tube mascara and it's truly volumizing. The first time that I used it I wasn't so sure about it but this is a mascara that will not budge and when it will move it will come in a tube so it won't damage or ruin your makeup. And then for my lips I used the Kevin O'Quan and Nick this is a sheer lipstick so I only applied a little bit and then blended it with my fingers and that's the way that I love to use it love it as a lip tint and this is the first look then for my third way to pamper myself is just to do a wing liner um, more of a dolled up face 
because that's a way for me to pamper myself and also be ready for my Zoom meetings. I do image consulting meetings for my clients. I sometimes teach makeup lessons, but when I'm doing a Zoom meeting for my image consulting clients, I have to look more put together and I just want to look better. So just doing a wing liner will make me look like I'm doing the most, even if it's just one product and just applying bronzer on my eyelids. So let's just go ahead and see how I do that third look. Pampering myself and taking care of myself also means taking care of my clients. So whenever I have a Zoom meeting, I'm a makeup artist and an image consultant on top of being a YouTuber. So for me, presentation and image is everything. I need to look put together even if it's not a full glam glitter face of makeup. This is the Inglot 77 liner and this is a brand new one. Mine that I have on my makeup artistry kit is already running low, but this product is a staple for me. It's one of those products that you can use on a wedding and it can be windy, rainy and whatnot and you will have to do magic to remove your makeup. I'm gonna use an angled brush and I'm gonna dip it into the liner just the tiniest amount and then I'm gonna do a small wing just to enhance my look. You can see that I create a line and then I connect that line to the top of my lash line. So that will change my look completely and what I love the most about this eyeliner is that I don't have to set it. Most of the liners that I use since I live in a humid weather, I have to set them for them not to budge. This will set completely matte and then I don't have to set it for it to last all day, it will just do. For this dolled up look, I have to set my face uh, with powder and I'll be right back to show you other products. Now that my face is set, you can see that the blush is still showing up on the bronzer too. But I wanna do another layer of bronzer. So this is the Pupa Desert Bronzing Powder and this is a huge compact. You can see it right here. It's just beautiful. This product has been hyped in the Brazilian makeup artistry world. So I'm super excited that I could get my hands on it. And then I'm gonna use the same bronzer for my nose. And I'm using this little brush that came in a Benefit blush and I'm just lightly contouring my nose with it. This shade 002, it will work for me when I'm lighter but it will work better now that I have fake tan because it will match my fake tan better. Now for blush, I have two choices. But I'm, what I'm gonna do since I wanna show you both, I'm gonna use the Surat one on this cheek and then the Elimasco one on this cheek. This is Naked Rose and this is Chalur. I will leave the names and everything linked below so you guys can see. And you know you can use your 22% off coupon. So I'm going in with Naked Rose with one brush and then, and then I'm gonna use the Surab blush with another brush. So this looks pretty light. I'm gonna build it up a little bit more. Oh, this is beautiful. This is the perfect bridal blush and everyday blush if you like. It's so pretty. You can see this one with blush and this one without it. I love the Illimasca blushes, but the shade Naked Rose was one that I was looking to buy because it's a nude tone and I prefer nude blushes for every day. And now before going into the Surat blush, I have to read this to you. It says that the blush is created using the Japanese slurry method, whereby a liquid pigment formula is dried into a velvety suede effect powder, enabling the product to be used wet or dry for a beautiful range of finishes. I need to put that to the test on my blush project, you guys, so stay tuned. In a wide range of inclusive shades, the artistic blush comes in vibrant hues to instantly make a statement or create a subtle flush. This is created by Troy Surat, he's a great makeup artist, so I was pretty excited to be able to try this because I've been wanting to try a lot of Surat products for years. I have a lip product from him, but I wanted to try the blushes since forever. You guys know I'm a blush fan, that's why I ordered three blushes on this order, and then I also got Bondi Bay with the thought in mind for it to be used as a blush. You can see that the packaging is not the best packaging that I've seen. Uh, and Surat Beauty is pretty high end, but I want to see how the blush performs because that for me is what will make it or break it for the blush. Okay, so it has kick up, but it doesn't have the amount of kick up as the Illimasca. It blended beautifully and 
It's awesome that I chose these two because I chose them for the same reason. I wanted more nude blushes in my collection, but there are two different types of nudes. This is a pinky blush, the Limasco one. This is more of a warm nude, and I love these. I love this shade. This shade I even love more than this one, but I would use them both the same amount. It's just that this is the type of shade that I think I will go for because it's just an extension of your bronzer and for me that looks super natural but it also shades your face and contours your face in a way. And then to finish this look, I went in for the Kevin O'Quan Madora lipstick. And I love this formula better because this is a cream formula. The one that I use as a stain is a shine formula. And the cream formula glides on your lips. And this one I also got and looked fantastic. So I would highly recommend it. And Thelma Dora was on my 2020 yearly favorites. And then to finish the look, I'm gonna go in again with my Coralie Beauty Elixir. For number four, one thing that makes me feel better and a way to pamper myself is to try new makeup. I know that I'm against shopping just for the sake of it, but if you have one product that you have on a wish list and you have the budget for it, just buy it and just play with it. And if you love makeup or clothing, you know how nice it is just to play dress up or just to play as if you were going to an event and how that can lift your mood up and also make you more creative. And then the last thing that I wanted to say, since I'm an image consultant, I have to say it, is dress nicely. Even if you're wearing a casual outfit, wear something that makes you feel nice and make something that makes you feel put together, even if it's jeans and a t-shirt. And the top tip that I have for my Zoom meetings is to wear a cute hairpiece. So I bought last year a few hair bows and I also bought a few hair accessories that will make me look more enhanced or look better and more put together on camera without having to use heat on my hair. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I have to say these products are amazing. Every single product that I've tried have been working for me and that's what I love the most about me having these products on a wish list and then to be able to pick and choose what I wanted sent to me so that I could talk about it with you guys with my most honest opinion. So don't forget to use my coupon code if you wanna get 22% off your purchase. And it's Jordana in all capitals. I will leave it linked below. And keep in mind that this campaign is going from February 19 to February 28. So I will leave every product link below. You already saw them in action. So that's it you guys. Don't forget to leave an emoji below if you watch the entire video, something related to pampering yourself. And let me know below what you do to pamper yourself during this lockdown. And if you're not in lockdown, what do you still do to pamper yourself? Because that's important. It's a way for us to show love to ourselves. So that's it you guys. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.